Hello and uh, welcome to another photography video. Um, today I'm sort of back out in the garden again, but again we can sort of do all of this inside uh, as much as outside. Um, what we're going to look at today is just having a bit of fun with the camera. Now, typically I've picked up my camera and the battery's flat, so I'm going to use my mobile instead. It's got a camera in it, so it's still photography. Looking at the relationship with reflections and shadows today, just a bit of fun. I'm going to try some ideas. So, I'm going to move around until I can find something particularly shiny, such as a window. Now, we're blessed with decent weather at the moment. So let's try and frame some sky. Double up some imagery. So we have the clouds on the outside and whatever's going on on the inside. Not a very attractive hot water boiler, but there you go. We've got other things we can overlay. So it's kind of doubling up two images. We've got whatever's reflected and whatever's going on inside so in my garden room has the garden outside reflected and apart from the attractive washing basket it's got the plants on the inside so we can move around and we can try different angles to see what we can pull in with the cloud and the sunshine working really with us in our favor now we wanted to grab that photo now and take that picture that would be a brilliant overlay of two shots lots of interest and going back to what we did before we can use lead lines okay leading into my washing is not the most attractive but we can use lead lines we we'll use the wash in fact in a minute lots of water laying around whether it's at the seaside in a rock pool or even my slowly emptying water bottle. And why not get ourselves in? Why not be part of the picture? Now, we've got that nice and clear there, it almost frames in a circular sort of picture. And very carefully, we can introduce some ripples by tapping it. That might make an interesting picture, just to give us a bit of distortion. So as we move around, as we move around, and I'm really hoping the sun stays out, reflections. Reflections are good. We like reflections and shadows. And shadows are good as well. We like this. If I was to take that photo, you would know it was washing without even seeing the washing. I'm not going to put you through the ordeal of seeing my washing but we can also make interesting selfies with shadows different things to cast different shadows and you can move around and try and find them whether it's off of a building or just my little bird bath there it's just casting a little shadow but maybe we can use that shadow just to give the picture a little more depth and look at the shadow that's falling underneath so with the sun high in the sky we can try and use that shadow to give us a bit more contrast we can keep looking around we've got the dappled light of under this apple tree here making things a little bit more interesting and I'm going to try and get a mirror image now by using this gobby old window and there does that look like glass on one side or does it look like you can go straight through there I'll let you decide but we can use all of this glass and all of this sunshine at the moment to make nice reflections if you're doing it inside, it works really well with things like trying to do a really close up shot of your taps so you can get a real distorted hall of mirror look. Um, 
mirrors in the house just try and take a photo of a mirror in the house because you will find that you can create almost like a parallel universe by taking a mirror opposite of what you're used to seeing it's always a bit of fun that and if i don't cast too much reflection on this bird there you might be able to get some clouds in there as well and a bit of sun glinting off of them experiment and I'm gonna let you try and do that for yourselves and hopefully you will be kind enough to post them onto uh, the independent arts website so we can see them and put them in our gallery so thanks again and I'll catch up with you soon